Today, guys, we're going to be making one of the cleanest builds for the LG Retro Custom in GTA 5. Technically, two custom builds. Uh, it's been a while since I drove this thing around. Armor, 100%. Race brakes. Front bumper. Painted extended splitter. Rear bumper. Nothing. Roll cage. Probably the street half cage. Engine level 4. A twin chrome tip exhaust. Stock fenders. Black surround grille. Raised extreme hood. Xenon lights. Yellow on black plate. Stock roof, side skirt extensions, classic RS wing, sport suspension, race transmission, turbo tuning, dark smoke window tint, and the rest we will do outside. Plate holder, left mounted, debadged grill, sun strip, interior wise, semi stripped interior, or a race dash and a stripped interior, or flocked, or carbon. They're all kind of clean. But for a truly clean build, we're just going to keep it with the street interior. Toss the pod mounted Tasho on there. Probably pronounced that wrong, but it's all good. Stock doors, seats, we're gonna go with the painted track seats. Definitely the Rally Clubman steering wheel. We're gonna leave all of the engine alone. No arch covers. We're gonna toss on the chrome hood catches. We don't need no roof vents. If you want, you could toss any of this on, but nobody's gonna see it. Definitely not putting wind deflectors on. Livery, I mean, it's up to you. If you wanna put this on, you can. For this build, the only one I would put on is black stripes, but even with that, I think I'm gonna leave it alone. Like I said, there is two different builds we're kinda going for here. The first one is gonna be gray. The second one is gonna be a nice midnight purple. Toss in midnight purple on, primary color, set the RGB, and we're just going to increase the blue value up a little bit. There we go. We're going to set the blue RGB to 40. We're going to do the same thing for the secondary color. We're going to change the pearlescent from shafter purple to slate blue. And for the wheels, sadly, you can't do this on console, but I would just change the color of them to black. Just like that, simple custom build. LG Retro Custom, looking clean as hell. You want to change it up a little bit? Of course you can. If you want to change the wheels, I'd recommend going with the Deep Flakes. They look absolutely stunning on this car, and this is probably what we're going to be going with at the end of the day. Like I said, there are two available builds for this car that I think are absolutely flawless. This is one of them. So we just duplicated the car really quickly, and now we're simply just going to change the color. We're going to go paint, we're going to go primary color, and let's take a look at a couple different shades available for it. So first, we have gunmetal. This one is honestly pretty damn clean, but we'll of course have to change that pearlescence, but it is still a little light. If you like this color, the RGBs for it are 35, 41, and 46. You could simply add it to your own crew. The second option is just going with a simple black steel or a dark steel. My favorite personally is probably black steel. Change the secondary color as well to black steel, pearlescent, black. Nice, clean, build, LG Retro Custom. Absolutely stunning. If you did want to go with a stock wheel type of look, the Endo V.3 custom wheels are probably your best bet because they do look fairly similar to the stock wheels that we have on the car normally. Obviously, it's not perfect, but they still look pretty damn cool. Another great option is the Endo V.4 dished wheels. Obviously, it's personal preference. What do you like more, a bigger rim or a thicker tire? It's up to you at the end of the day. But anyways, guys, there you have it. The most perfect custom build for the LG Retro Custom. Very simple very clean and i absolutely love the look of it comment down below which variant you like the most do you like the wheels to have a little bit of chrome or do you like them blacked out do you like the thicker tires or do you like the thinner tires and of course which color speaks to you the most as well anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you went on to enjoy it and with that said i will catch you guys in the next one